Going back up to the Create button here, let's move on to the next option. And that is the Photo Collage. Again, similar to the calendar, greeting card, and photo book, it's, it's run the same way. It allows you to take your several pictures and combine those into a photo collage format. And we'll give that a second to load up here. And then we'll see how that goes. Same Again, same basic idea. You can go in here and you can choose a different theme. You can choose whatever theme you want. And once you have that set up, you then can go back in and manipulate that. Change the pictures, change the background, and change anything you want to. And we'll be doing more of that a little later on as we move forward. And there it is. Again, this is set up to print locally. Over here, there's no Shutterfly print on this one. And we have one theme here, basic theme, just a basic collage. Let's go ahead and click OK. It's going to pre-fill that with our existing images. And we'll watch it go ahead and do this. We'll see how this collage comes out. And again, once you have it in here, you can move everything around. You can change the layout. You can change anything about this. Change the pictures. Change the positions. You know, it's completely customizable after it has been. The basic layout has been done here by the Photoshop Elements program. And there we go. Let's just zoom in a little bit on that. As you can see, it's just taken all of those pictures that we had and combined them into this kind of basic collage. You can click on any one of these pictures, and you can then move it around, readjust it, change the size. You can see here's our little size control handles on the side. Just bring it down a little bit like that. You have all your standard controls down below, so I can move it around, rotate it click just outside of the corner and you can change the rotation there we go so as you can see basic idea same basic idea as the other creations this just is putting these all together into one big collage image again when you're finished make sure that you save that and we'll give that a collage name here There we go. And once you have saved it, then simply close it to go back to the standard setting for the program. You just give it a second to save. Now when it's saving like this, it's actually saving each one of these as an individual PSD file, Photoshop file, and then the whole thing as a PSE file, which combines all the PSDs. So if you have a lot of pictures, it can take you know a minute or two to do that save. It wasn't that long right here. Click on close and we're back to our basic setting. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.